Hi, my name is Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk. Today in this showcase tips and tricks, I will show you how to adjust the camera clipping plane, which when it's not well adjusted, you'll notice a lot of flickering when you're orbiting around your objects. Here is a good example. I have just loaded a DWG drawing, which is a fairly large project, which is when that flickering effect mostly happened. So there's a lot of black triangle, and as I'm orbiting around, there's a fair amount of flickering. What's happening is that the camera cannot identify the order in which the polygon or faces should be displayed. So the face that are close to each other or on top of each other are being displayed one after the other, causing the flickering effect. To fix this, go to File menu, Settings, Scene Settings, and increase the near clipping plane amount. By increasing this amount, you're helping the camera to identify the order in which to display the polygon or faces. Now this number may vary according to the size of your scene and the distance from the camera to your objects. This is another great example coming from Revit. Again, this is a fairly large project and by default, the distance from the camera from near clipping plane is set to one centimeter. By increasing to 100 centimeter or even 50 centimeter, it fixes the flickering problem. Now, something to keep in mind is that this distance will change and vary according to the distance of your camera from your object. As an example, when I move inside my project to an interior scene, my camera is now much closer to the object that I'm looking at. Now, you'll notice that if I increase, if I increase the distance from the camera to the near clipping plane, uh, you'll see that it's actually clipping the object. It's actually making them disappear. So keeping that in mind, if in your project you have views that are really close to your objects, combined with views that are really far from the objects, you will need to find a sweet spot. You will need a near clipping plane distance great enough to avoid the flickering of faces, but small enough to avoid clipping or cropping of close objects. Keep in mind that you will only deal with the flickering if you're working with large size projects with a camera that is far from the objects. For every other situation, the default number will be just fine. 